Hi, this is Troy from Discover Battery. In this video, we'll show you how to integrate Discover Lithium batteries with a Schneider Electric XW Pro inverter charger using the Link2 communication gateway. So the Link2 gateway enables the internal BMS of a Discover Lithium battery to share important battery information over a network data connection in a closed configuration with off-grid inverters. This data helps optimize battery charging and trigger other function controlled by the inverter charger that use battery data such as voltage, temperature, and state of charge. As with any installation job, pay attention to safety before you begin. Please wear proper personal protection equipment when handling the batteries, inverter, and electrical systems. Don't forget to switch off and depower all devices before installing the link gateway and connecting the Cat5 communication cables. Please also refer to the Link2 Communication Gateway User Manual, available from discoverbattery.com, and review the Discover Lithium battery models and inverters compatibility with the Link2 Gateway. Before starting the installation, you must configure the CAN out pins of the Link2 Gateway to match the CAN low, CAN high pins for the Schneider XW Pro inverter charger. Download and consult the Link2 user manual Schneider XW Pro with Insight Home Zanbus from the discoverbattery.com website to learn how to position the internal jumpers that configure the Link2 can out pins. So we've already configured the jumpers inside the Link2 for the Zanbus. So we can now connect the Link2 to the Discover batteries and the Zanbus network. Once the can out pins of the Link2 gateway are correctly configured, the Discover Lithium batteries can be connected to the Link2 using a Cat5 cable. After connecting the batteries to the Link2, connect the Link2 into the Zambus network into an open port at the end of the network. At the other end of the Zambus network, use the Insight Home device to terminate the network. Ensure that both the battery and Zambus networks are correctly terminated. The Link2 will terminate one end of each battery and the Zambus network. Be aware that if communication between the Link2 gateway and the inverter is lost, none of the Zambus device will display an error or fault warning. The XW Pro inverter will continue to operate with the last battery temperatures and charge set points transmitted by the Link2 gateway. So depending on the mode of operation at the time of the communication fault, and given enough time, the XW Pro will eventually put the connected battery into an overcharged or fully discharged state. When that occurs, the Discover Lithium battery BMS will self-protect and disconnect the battery from the system. To restart communication, the user must intervene by reconnecting the battery and the Zambus network to Link2. If reconnection is unsuccessful, the XW Pro must be converted to an open loop configuration before resuming operation. Now that the hardware is installed, the next step is configuring the Link2 gateway to use the Zambus communication protocol. Download and install the Link Access software to a Windows-based PC from the Discover Battery website. Connect your PC to the Link2 gateway using the USB Type-B mini plug cable that comes with the Link2 gateway. Select the Zambus communication protocol using the Link Access software and save the setup. Now it's time to program the XW Pro with closed loop parameters by connecting to Schneider's Insight Home gateway device using the Insight Local web application. Refer to Schneider's instructions on how to do this. Once you've logged onto the Insight Local, navigate to the battery settings and charger settings for the XW Pro. Many battery settings and charger settings are automatically populated and cannot be changed. These settings are referred to as fixed and dynamic settings. The Discover Lithium battery will automatically reprogram them if they are changed. Some settings are user adjustable and help manage the operation of the XW Pro to match user preferences. So settings on Insight Local are saved by clicking on the Apply button. Confirm all settings have been accepted by refreshing the Insight Local menu screen. Using the Insight Local web application, start by programming the battery settings battery type, battery capacity, and most voltage values are communicated and set by the battery. Charge cycle should be set to two stage and the XW Pro will operate optimally 
if battery state of charge control is enabled to drive inverter triggers from the SOC rather than the voltage. The recommended low SOC cutout setting is 10%. The battery can be discharged to 100% depth of discharge, but must immediately be recharged. An over-discharged lithium battery may not be able to accept a charge and may not be recoverable. You will find a complete review of adjustable, fixed, and dynamic battery settings for the XW Pro by referring to the section 7.1 of the Link to XW Pro user manual. The next step involves programming the charger settings. Setting recharge SOC to a higher percentage keeps a significant amount of energy in reserve for backup needs. Setting it lower enables a higher level of self-consumption. Section 7.2 of the Link to XW Pro user manual reviews all the charger settings. In addition to the XW Pro, Schneider MPPT solar charge controllers can be programmed to communicate with the Discover batteries via the Link to gateway over ZAN bus. Using Insight Local, navigate to the battery settings and the charger settings for the MPPT solar charge controller. All the battery and charger parameters for the MPPT are user adjustable and must be set appropriately to interact correctly with the XW Pro inverter charger and the Discover Lithium batteries. First, set up the MPPT battery settings, set battery type to custom. Other values will conflict with the battery type value used by the inverter charger. Set the nominal battery voltage to 48 volts or the MPPT will fault. Set the battery capacity to the same battery capacity value used by the inverter charger. Now we can set up the MPPT charger settings. The recommended charge cycle setting is three stage, which after the batteries are full, will enable DC current for loads to be available from the PV system. The recommended charge mode setting is primary, which will set the PV charging as the priority source for charging. Now that Link 2 is appropriately set up and connected, it will transmit real-time values from the Discover lithium batteries, including voltage, current, temperature, state of charge, and even fault conditions to Schneider power conversion devices using Zanbus. For more information and support material, you can always visit discoverbattery.com.